commencement ceremony is about to begin. That's right. about the McCallum School Class of 2012. Over 700 graduate degrees and certificates are being presented today. 
27% of today's graduates hail from 31 different countries. Our U.S. graduates come from 28 states and territories. 30% of you have earned an MBA, and almost 25% will receive an MS in accounting. Others are getting master's degrees in taxation, finance, financial planning, IT, HFID, and marketing analytics, as well as several combined degrees and graduate certificates. Bentley's full-time MBA program has once again been ranked among the top 100 business schools in the world as part of Beyond Grade Head Stripes. It's Aspen Institute's important survey that ranks MBA programs that demonstrate a particular commitment to social and environmental goals. Fourteen years on, that venture remains your pride and joy. A well-crafted portfolio of cookbooks and TV cooking shows has brought your lessons in East-West culinary diplomacy to home kitchens around the world. Good afternoon, President Larson, Board of Trustees, graduates, family. It's a real honor and I'm very humbled to be here. When I took over the Boston Red Sox in 2002, <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong speech, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All of you graduates have a word, and President Larson just mentioned it, success. Everyone here wants to be successful. I want to be successful. You want to be successful. What is it, though? Success. I've always said, if your goal is to be successful, and that's your only goal, and your tunnel vision that I want to be successful, I don't think you'll get there. I think your goal has to be different. Your goal has to be, how can I serve? How can I change the world? How can I leave my mark? Every one of you can leave your mark. And by the way, if your goal is to change the world, you will be a success. Not, I want to be a success. All that will happen if it's in your mind. And the mind is amazing. It is so much more powerful than everyone in this room actually knows. I always tell the story, Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, and by the way, Gretzky, if you don't know who they are, you studied too much. Um, <laughs> they're called superhuman, right? People rationally understand why they actually are superhuman. They, they were better than anyone else on the ice or on the court. And they've been interviewed, and they, were, they, they both have the same story. When they're playing, they see things in slow motion. So Gretzky had an extra half a second to get a shot off. And when Jordan was in the air and everyone else was coming down, he was still going up, which is remarkable. So it's easy to digest and understand they're superhuman. Well, there are also people out there, and you know these people, Galileo, Einstein, Picasso, Miles Davis. They're also different. They're superhuman. But they're superhuman with their mind. So they definitely use more than 10% of their brain. They probably use 50, 80, who knows? That mind is the power that they have. And, and I've seen stuff that is remarkable with the mind. You've all probably heard of energy work. You've all probably know of the secret. Visualization, pro, you know, project what you want. Don't worry about your, I don't know, student loans. Worry about not the negative, but thinking about the positive. And I've seen, for example, mind, minds do amazing stuff. Like this. This is a fork, right? <laughs> It's not a normal fork, but well, it's technically a fish fork based on its shape. This fork has a great story with my wife, Polly. We were at an event in Boston with a guy named, uh, there's a group of people called experimentalists. 
These are people that absolutely have ESP, can read your mind. This guy was bending wine glasses, glasses stem, and this fork was placed in my wife's hand, like this. And he came and he did this, and the fork twisted twice. He didn't touch the fork, he just twisted in his hand. And this is a fork from the table, from the dinner table. And when he, my wife opened the fork, it was bent around twice, the metal. I can't bend it back. He used his mind to bend this fork. And it was not a magic trick. This was his mind. So if you know that, that your mind can do stuff like this, that you're projecting what you want to be, your goal, not success, but your goal to change the world, using your mind is halfway there. As well. Now I think there's a great lesson knowing you can be anything you want if you use your mind. You're going to get problems, issues. Everyone has issues. And I hate hearing, well, I had a bad childhood, or I had a bad this, or I had, that doesn't matter, because today is now. You have everything, actually. You even got a piece of paper to prove it. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you don't have it yet, do you? <laughs> but you have to realize that things are going to be thrown at you, and you have to flow with it. Because if you don't, you will drown. I came up with this little, uh, I call it my life acronym, if I may. Because ultimately, the most important thing is to be happy, right? Happiness, to be happy. So the H in happy for me is help others. You have to give back, period. Leave your mark on this world. And as I know, you guys already do a lot of that, and that's awesome. But help others, it's important. How can I serve? A and happy. Apply yourself. You can't be lazy. Nothing is going to be given to you. The old adage, the, you know, getting the worm, coming in early, leaving late at work, that actually does matter. But don't do it for FaceTime and Showtime. Do it to accomplish something. If you're going to get there early, make sure you're doing it because you're going to do something better than everyone else. You have to apply yourself. First P, passion. Follow your dream, right? I, as President Larson said, I have a degree in mechanical engineering. That's really useful. Um, <laughs> I had a couple rules growing up. I'm Chinese American, I'm very proud of that. Both my parents were born in Beijing. And they said, you know, son, get any grades you want, as long as they're straight A's. <laughs> be anything you want as long as it's a doctor, lawyer, engineer <laughs> and marry anyone you want we prefer Chinese <laughs> I'm over 3 <laughs> and my lovely wife over there does coincidentally although she's Caucasian from Dayton, Ohio speaks fluent Mandarin and it kind of pisses me off because my parents said her accent is better than mine Lai Sok Brian Sistek. <clears throat> Yiche Wong. <laughs> Jeffrey Zundel, high distinction. <laughs> Master of Science and Information Technology and Master of Business Administration, day program, Michelle Alde. <laughs> Cesar Hernandez, high distinction. Vipul Musa. Amira Ajedi. Mundasir Alam. Sazen Atta. Distinction. Vikram Arakar. Walid Babe. Neil Malaria. Ashna Dawan. Shahil Deloika. Vasni Gavinjarar. Jeffrey Harrelson, Distinction. 
Gregory Newman, distinction. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Board of Trustees of Bentley University, and by reason of your having fulfilled all the requirements prescribed by the faculty and trustees, I pronounce you graduates of the Bentley University McCallum Graduate School of Business and holders of degrees indicated with all the related rights, privileges, and responsibilities.